all foolish Galatians who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. These words were these words which were spoken by St. Paul meant that Galatians were not led by reason, rational or sober judgment, in fact lacked wisdom. St. Paul might have thought a demonic charm was used to pursue them to abandon the holy cause. Even by we paraphrase Paul's statement and say, you foolish politicians, who has bewitched you? That you should not obey the voice of the people, the poor, the downtrodden ordinary masses who gave you an electoral mandate. Pardon our strong language, because we are dealing with very serious issues. And I know when I learned on this statement, people will have realized why we are using this tone. Who has bewitched you? We observe the disturbing trend of politicians, or should I say, political chameleons and ten codes, crossing floors against the wish and the voice of the people. Botswana is littered with a bunch of politicians who think through their bellies and reason with their stomach. They are nothing but thieves who steal the voice of the people after promising them only to take a detour and embark on a voyage of self-enrichment and advertisement. This is a self-saving tendency. In fact, predatory. Defectors are predators who prey on innocent masses. Defectors suck. We frown upon these characters. Sellouts don't deserve to live. Sellouts, they don't deserve to live in a revolution. The voice speaks for itself.